as we get ready for the end of the school year, many teachers are asking me how they can back up their computers, whether they're turning them in for the summer or whether they just want to be sure that they have all their materials should their hard drive fail. When you click on, when you go to Google and you search for Google, Google Drive app, the first link that you'll find is download Google Drive. I recommend backing up to your Google Drive through the Google Drive app on your Mac because the Google Drive space is unlimited for GAF accounts and it also means that everything you put into this fo folder will be accessible on any device that you have an internet connection on. I'll click download for Mac, agree and download, and then we'll see in the bottom left hand corner that the application is downloading. It shouldn't take very long. Once the app is downloaded, we're going to install it onto our computer by double clicking on it and then simply dragging the app into our applications folder like such. Once you've dragged it into your applications folder, it will copy the application over and then you can open it from the applications folder in order to begin the setup process. During the setup process, I'll show you how you can customize what is going to be synced onto your computer. Because using the Google Drive app, basically what it does is it takes everything that is in the Google Drive in the cloud and puts it onto your local computer and then takes everything that is in that folder on your local computer and then puts it up into the cloud to make it accessible onto any computer that you have an internet, an internet connection on. For some of you that have a lot of uh, items in your Google Drive in the cloud, you may not want to actually have everything that's in the cloud accessible on your local computer. So some of the more advanced setup processes that I'm going to show you might prove useful for those of you that either have limited hard drive space or simply do not want everything that's in the cloud on your local computer. On this screen, before you click Done, Sync Options is where you can change what is actually going to sync. So right now I can tell that there are, for me, there are 90.6 gigabytes that are in my Google Drive. I certainly do not need all 90.6 gigabytes worth of information on my local computer. So once I click sync only these folders, then I can go through and uncheck the folders that I do not want to sync. Keep in mind that once you ask it to only sync these selected folders, then it will also tell you what, how much information or how much data you actually have room for on your local computer. And obviously it can't sync more than you have room for. So go down through, unclick any of the folders that you don't want to sync. For some people at this point, they opt to just have one folder that they're going to sync in between their desktop and the cloud. So that way the materials that they've created on the cloud and either don't need access to remotely or information that they've synced to the cloud and no longer need on their local hard drive uh, can remain in the cloud and not take up space on their local drive. So now that I've unchecked all the folders that exist in my Google Drive, I'm down to only 10.6 gigabytes selected. Now keep in mind that anything that does not reside in a folder that resides in your home My Drive uh, root folder will be synced onto your local computer. So if you don't want to sync that data, then you would need to put the, that into a folder in your Google Drive and then choose not to sync that folder. So from here, I'll click Start Sync. Once I click Start Sync on the left hand side, we're going to wind up seeing, typically we see a Google Drive folder appear um, underneath the left hand side. When we look at um, the icons, the blue circle that we see here is currently syncing the document onto the cloud. When we look at uh, my toolbar up here at the top, we can see that the Google Drive icon is currently active and swirling around. That tells us that it is currently syncing documents to my local computer as well as syncing the uh, documents from my local computer to the cloud. Keep in mind that you do not need to have your computer uh, on. Uh, for the entire time that this is going on, if you were to need to shut down now and then log back on and continue the sync at another time, you can certainly do that. Once you regain Wi-Fi access, then it will continue to sync what is, in, what is on your computer to what is in the cloud and vice versa. Also, whatever you remove from the Google Drive folder at this point, if I were to trash anything from this folder, for example, these files here, if I were to drag these to the trash, then they would be removed from my Google Drive no matter where the device is located. So it would, they would no longer be accessible. Uh, if I were to empty the, my trash can here, then those files that were in my Google Drive would then be gone. 
Another nice aspect of using the Google Drive app is if you were to decide that you needed to um, organize your files a little bit more. I know that some people have a hard time organizing their files when they're located on the Google Drive. You can organize your files from here using new folder and then dragging your items into that folder as you so choose. You can also create one new folder. For example, that is my MacBook backup. And by creating this folder, if I were to put items into here, then I could have, if I look at my preferences here, under my Google Drive app, this is where I can also control my sync options again. And when I scroll down, I will see that the folder that I just created, MacBook Backup, is the only folder that it will be syncing. All other folders, which includes the classroom folder, would not be synced onto my local computer. Uh, so that means that whatever I put into here would be accessible on both my MacBook as well as in the cloud, uh, whereas everything else that already exists in the cloud would only be accessible in the cloud. Once you have everything synced and your Google Drive app icon in the top toolbar is solid, then you know that you're completely backed up. You can then turn in your device and uh, it will be wiped if you're turning it in. And also if you have another device that you were to use, you just need to download the Google Drive app again, sign in, and it would continue the sync process. Much like we did in the first place on this computer, it would complete the sync process and bring everything back down onto your new computer. So Google Drive makes it quick and easy. If you have any questions at all, make sure that you make an appointment with me and I'll be sure that you are all backed up before you leave for the summer.